Welcome to Cadence. We've got a stunning home to show you right here in the heart of Cadence in Serenata, built by Woodside Homes. We've got all of Cadence to show you as well as these homes. Let's go ahead and check this out. Okay guys, welcome back to Cadence here in Henderson. This is the Serenata community by Woodside Homes. We're big fans of Woodside Homes on this channel. They make an excellent home. This model is the Henley Plan 4. I believe this is the biggest model in their plan. This is around about 2,700 square feet and it's a, it's a gorgeous floor plan. Wait till you see, wait till you see the kitchen and the, and the island. Oh my goodness. Huge island. But we come on in. You have two options when you walk in. You can go left or you can go right. We're gonna go right first and show you the great room and this amazing kitchen that I'm a huge fan of. So as you walk in, as you can see, it's a really nice, open, airy, great room. I love the windows. I, I love that fireplace as well. I'm a big fan of the fireplace, even if it's just for decoration, although it's a bit chilly at the moment as we're filming this video, but it's a really nice, open, great, airy, great room. And then obviously you have the kitchen then that it flows into. I mean, look at this island. This island is bigger than some of the snooker tables and pool tables I played on back home. Never mind a, a ping pong table. This is incredible. This island is massive. And we were kind of joking earlier off camera, like you could have your entire Thanksgiving right here on this island. It's just <laughs> a really, really long, long table. This thing is massive. And the cool thing about it too, functional. We always talk about the functionality of the island. Um, does it have the dishwasher, the sink? And uh, look at all the cabinets on the island like all the way down drawers cabinets because we were talking about counter space in here and it doesn't seem like there's that much counter space if you're just looking at it from here that's that's the side of the wall that really has it but then when you start to factor in this side of the island and all that it has there and then even when you come on this side of the island with the chairs you still have more cabinet space and then all of this cabinet space over here so there is no lack of storage even though it might seem like it for your initial uh, view of it. One thing I will say, Ryan, I don't know if it's because I've put on an extra few pounds over the holidays, but it does feel a little bit narrower than some of the islands that we've seen. It's not too narrow, but definitely compared to some of them, they feel a bit more open. This one just feels a little bit more narrow. Well, I'm not gonna judge your weight here on camera, <laughs> but it does actually feel a little bit more narrow right here. Um, he's gonna give it the test. Oh, uh, see, that was quite the close too. Sometimes just the drawers. Oh sometimes oh. just the drawers that was, still wasn't too bad though yep there yeah, we go be. i think i was just there too heavy handed yeah see he was just trying to get too aggressive we have a nice <laughs> gas stove right here again if you've seen any of our other videos you know that most of these new homes actually all the ones that we've seen do have gas stove and gas appliances for the most part again massive island ge appliances they do offer quartz or granite countertops this is going to be your garage door right here and then you have a pantry here as well with a, a nice see-through door, which I always love. The garage is locked, but it's gonna be your standard 22-foot uh, bay garage. There is an option to get up to a 24. And as we come around. What I love about this area is this, this area itself is fantastic, this great room. But then when you couple in these sliders, maybe not on a day like today, because our temperatures are quite cold here in Vegas at the moment, but on a nice summer's day or spring, even though we don't get a spring, it just opens up the whole house there and you could just have this extra space for entertaining or if you're a family watching the kids run around the yard. I, I love it, I'm a big fan of those sliders. Yeah, I love the actual, the way it slides all the way down like the accordion sliders. Now this wall is only low because these are the models um, and they want you to be able to see both sides and compare and contrast, but that will be built up a little bit higher. As you can see the distance really here of the backyard and the back of the house. So like you're saying, we are recording this. It's colder outside. It is in the uh, low 40s today. Henderson did get some snow down here in Cadence and Henderson. There was some snow in Henderson the other night. So it does end up snowing down here. If you're like fireplace, I thought it was 120 degrees. Uh, <laughs> it was 28 when I woke up the other morning. So it, uh, we do get a winter here in Vegas, but it does look really, really nice. I love how they do the accent with the little pop-up off up the wall and then the fireplace right there, check that out. 
I think we're fortunate in the Las Vegas Valley, we have a lot of good builders, but I really do like Woodside and how they finish their homes. I just think they've got a nice, nice feel to how they finish it. Absolutely. So as well, guys, we have a really great understairs closet. I always joke about a Harry Potter room and a Harry Potter closet, but there's plenty of space there for Harry Potter, her, Harry Potter, sorry, Hermione, the yeah. twins, all of them would fit in there. Yeah, this one goes back um, pretty deep, yeah. So we always like to show those because it's just, again, storage, right? With these open concept homes, you don't think there's a lot of closet space, a lot of storage. So we want to make sure that you really uh, do get to see that. So now as we move back, we do have a single bedroom down here with a bathroom. We right do have outside. a full bathroom with a walk-in shower and a single vanity as well there. There we go. Nice, I like the slider that they have in here too. Right, I always talk about when they, um, they're closed and they're magnetized and it just sounds like it's slammed shut and you're afraid you're gonna break the glass. <laughs> and it sort of wobbles a little bit as well. Yeah, it does. <laughs> this is the bedroom downstairs. It's, a, it's your average, I always say your average size sort of secondary room and it is your average size secondary room. Really good size bed, not really chunky furniture in here so you can sort of see the size of it. It's got a nice window, this one looks to the front of the property in this home and then you have a good size uh, closet there as well with the sliding doors. Your typical average size like secondary bedroom is going to be you know 11 by 12 kind of thing. Nothing too crazy. And guys, if the rooms are tight, we will tell you. Like For this sure. room seems kind of small, maybe like a nine by nine, but not this room. This is your pretty much your standard um, as I walk here in the closet and hit the curtain. <laughs> and we have seen some tight sort of secondary rooms as well, but that one, that one is about average. And the high ceilings definitely help as well. Definitely do. Let's, uh, let's come upstairs. Head on up. And guys, you can reach out to us anytime, however you're comfortable when you're ready. Your number and email is going to be right there on the screen. You can jot that down, shoot us a text, you know, say, hey, Pete, saw your YouTube channel. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, anything like that. Definitely. I love, love you guys reaching out to me. It's uh, great having those conversations. You get a great loft as soon as you come up the stairs. It's a nice sized loft. You can see that this one is set as an office and a little entertainment area as well, which is really good. Some people just have it as a, as a single office. Work from home is such a big thing these days, or maybe a thing for the kids to have it as their sort of area there, or watch TV or play computer games. I've even seen some people have a home gym in their, in their loft there, which I know you'd be a big fan of, Ryan. I definitely would. It looks like they even have a little weight here on the table for the design, but yeah, a lot of people do think lofts, you know, kids space, y'all go upstairs, watch TV, play games, whatever like that, kind of leave, don't destroy the living room downstairs where more people are probably going to hang out. Yeah, a lot of people like that idea. Pretty much. We have some more storage here as well, which I'm going to end up blocking Ryan going around, but there you have some more storage. A little linen closet. We have another bedroom here, and this obviously is set as a mixture of a sort of home gym and sort of baby room, but it is a bedroom. It has a closet there as well. So this would be another bedroom. Similar size, maybe a little bit wider possibly than the one downstairs. Uh, yeah, there's no bed, so it does feel a little bit bigger than the one that we saw downstairs, but I'm imagining if there was like a queen size bed right there in the middle, uh, the space would probably look or feel just about the same. But yeah, they do have this set up. And of course, you guys can do whatever you like with these rooms, you know, uh, bedroom, exercise room, nursery, whatever it is that you want, right? Home office, uh, just giving you, and, and I like that they kind of did this too, to give you different ideas. Like, here's what you could probably do with this. It is good, it is good seeing models set up with all the rooms, not just being a, a bedroom, because it does give you those ideas, because some people buy more bedrooms than they necessarily need, especially with the prices sometimes. And then you have that functionality of how you can switch it up as well. We have another bedroom here. And obviously this one is definitely set up as being a baby's room, definitely. a newborn baby's room. I, I love the color scheme going on on here. Again, similar size. I think this is maybe a little bit more narrow than the one we saw next door, but that might just be because of the dresser in here as well, but it, it feels a little bit more narrow. Definitely a little bit more narrow, but um, 
Two, like I said, two still really good sized rooms. None of these rooms feel tight. Definitely not tight. You have a, a good sized laundry room as well. When we're talking about size, yeah. good sized laundry room. You can see you got plenty of uh, cabinet space there, counter and cabinet space here as well. You can do your folding if you needed, maybe on this countertop as well. It's uh, yeah, I like it. And the inclusions with Woodside Homes are the GE appliances. So that's a really nice touch for them is to include those because we know not all builders do include all the appliances. Some of them don't include any appliances. Then you have a, a full size bathroom here. This one is obviously set up with a tub and a single vanity as well. Nice, they still got the slider. They got the backsplash all the way up to the ceiling up there. So very nice touches there, but it is made out to be a tub just in case you gotta do, take, give some baths, take some baths, you know. Not everybody takes showers, Pete. No, they don't. I'm a, I'm a big fan of showers, but when I was back in my in my sports days, which might be hard to believe, I used to like taking a bath after a hard soccer training session or tennis training session. So they can be quite relaxing. Enough of bath talks though, Ryan. Let's go and check out this primary room. I think this is a really good size and it just feels like the, the light just hits you as you walk in. It's really, really airy. It does. I'm actually going to, I want to turn these off because I want, look, so there you go, guys. I'm turning these off. I want you to see like these lights, I, I can see them hitting the wall more than anything, but the natural light that's coming in here, like lights are off. That's the natural light coming in. So when we tell you guys these big windows, letting in all this light, even in the, you know, winter here on kind of a gloomy day, it's not a bright and sunshiny day here in Vegas. Like <laughs> you can actually kind of see some of the snow on the mountains back there a little bit. But yeah, that's the natural light coming into this room. It's definitely not a bright day, but as you walk into that room, you definitely feel the, the light, which is fantastic. All that natural light coming into your, into your primary bedroom. It's a nice size. You can see obviously with the size of the bed and the furniture, there's still space either side as well. I love the accent wall. Not too sure about the mirror on it. That's my only question. Well, that's because you're not tall enough to see <laughs> I definitely can't see myself. I can see the ceiling when I'm looking at it from this angle. Coming into the bathroom, you have a private toilet and you have some more storage here as well. You have another bathtub here and then a walk-in shower. Personally speaking, again, this is personal preference. I would just prefer the one big walk-in shower, but some people prefer to have a tub and a shower, having it as an option. Some people like to have a soak in a nice hot bath and then go and cool off in the shower. I thought we were getting away from the bath conversation. We were, but it was there, so I, I had to mention it. This one here as well. We know Ryan doesn't like those magnetic closed ones. This one is sort of more of a... It's like a weighted close. The, the weight of the door, it's gonna close regardless. Um, what he's referring to is some of these, they'll have like a magnet right here. And it just, when it latches, it sh boom, it shakes the whole glass. This one, because of the weight of the door, it just naturally falls into place. So, and that way you don't have to slam it. For sure. You got your twin vanity, nice huge mirror, plenty of lights there as well. Similar uh, countertops and cabinets throughout the house as well, which is really nice. And then you come into your, your um, closet, which is a really nice walk-in closet, plenty of space. Now, if this were a bedroom, I would say this is a tight bedroom because this is about the size of a bedroom, but, but it is your walk-in closet and this thing is huge. I think my bedroom growing up in Birmingham in the UK was that size. It used to be called a box room and it literally was a box. <laughs> All right, we've got Pete's baths, we got his soccer days, tennis days, and now we, we got his childhood memories. Just in case people are curious, right? You know? <laughs> they might be moving to Birmingham, who knows? <laughs> All right. All right, guys, we actually want to take you out. We're going to, we're going to talk about HOAs. We're going to talk about the fees with this house, but we want to show you more of Cadence. So let's take them out to Cadence and show them around. All right, one of the things that we always love to talk to you about is the community and the location of these homes that we love to show you. Because yes, you might love that home, but you wanna make sure it's also in the right location. And this time we are outdoors here in the park of Cadence, all right? This is over 2,200 acres here in Cadence. And just so you know that Cadence has over 12,000 homes being built in the area as well. So massive, massive things happening down here in the heart of Henderson. 
Uh, he is the Henderson expert though. I'm gonna let him touch on Henderson, what's nearby, the freeway. We're gonna touch on all that good stuff right now. So yeah, obviously, as Ryan says, Cadence is located in Henderson. It's located to the east of Henderson. The next stop after this would be Lake Las Vegas. It's a relatively new community. It's one of only two communities really in Henderson that has any new construction going on. So there's a lot of new construction, probably about eight or 10 different builders. All of the big name builders are really building here. So if you have a preference, you can always reach out to us and, and discuss that with us. And when it was first started, it was probably felt a little bit too far out and there wasn't too much going on. But now actually there's quite a lot going on in this area. Where we are now is Cadence Central Park, which is 50 acres of amazing fun things. There's a kids playground, there's a splash pad, there's pickleball courts, there's an Olympic sized swimming pool. There's another playground over the other side. There's a lake to go walking around. I mean, that's, that's an incredible amount of amenities all included in your, your HOA fee that we'll touch on as well. The free Wi-Fi here too, right? Free Wi-Fi in the park as well, which is amazing. Right, then so that's crazy to me. We were just talking about it. Sorry, I interrupted him. Like McDonald's, Starbucks, right? Usually that's the places you gotta go. Tons of other people around, a lot of noise. You can come to Central Park right here, hang out in the Central Park. The lake is literally right over there. We got mountain views in the background with free Wi-Fi. To me, that's pretty awesome. Awesome. I don't know of many other parks that offer free Wi-Fi. I haven't heard of any. No, I, I definitely haven't heard any. So I think it's, it's a really good thing. It's something they definitely speak about. There's also a new uh, sports park going to be 100 acres, I believe, 100 acre sports park that's going to have loads of different sports, which is great. I think it's a great thing about Las Vegas in general is, is the sports and the sports teams that have been moving here encouraging everyone else to get involved in the sports. There's gonna be a sports field in Cadence that's gonna have so many different sports to go and enjoy, which I, I'm definitely looking forward to that being completed. There's some great shopping and dining options. We've got a huge Smith's Marketplace, which Ryan will touch on because he has one up in his area as well. So what's the Yeah, not really much actually. When I went to that Smith's um, and because somebody had told me, they're like, oh, well, this is a Smith's Marketplace, not a regular Smith's and I, I haven't, I haven't been here that long. Like, I don't know. I didn't know that, right? And then when I went to the Smiths over here in Cadence, it looked like mine. There, it was big. It had, it had a bar, right? There, it had the bakery. It had all the other side things. So it, again, it reminded me of a Whole Foods is what it reminded me of. Uh, just a massive Whole Foods, but now it's called Smiths, apparently, um, and owned by Kroger. But anyway, yeah, that's what I thought of it. It's definitely got a nice bar. Me and Ryan had a drink in one of the ones, and the, the drinks that we had that time was really, really, really nice, actually, really it good. Was. So it's definitely worth checking out if you're in the area. In terms of proximity to everything else, we aren't too far away from the freeway access, but to get to the freeway, you're probably gonna have to go down uh, Lake Mead Parkway. And sometimes there's so many different traffic junctions there that you get stuck at those red lights. It can take what should probably be a five minute trip to get onto that freeway. It's kind of probably sometimes I've been waiting 15 minutes because I just stop at every single red light. So it won't look as far distance wise, but time wise, it can be far. On average to get to the strip, it's gonna be around about 20, 25 minutes, similar distance to get to the airport. But with that, it's a more peaceful community because it's away from everything else as well. So if you are looking for a peaceful community, then that's gonna work for you. Henderson Hospital, which is a major new hospital in the Henderson area, again, is only a 10 minute drive. There's a Costco only 10 minutes away from here. Trader Joe's in Green Valley is about a 15 minute drive from here. Some of the schools in this area, I'd say check out greatschools.org. Some of the public schools are probably not the best ratings, but there's some really great charter schools. There's a Pinecrest Academy and a Coral Academy here as well. So check out those. So it's a great area. Lots to offer every type of person that could be looking to buy here. And I, I love Cadence myself. And the Strip, right? When we talk about entertainment and things to do, right? And we know the Strip is the hub. It's sort of the center attraction and the big piece here for Las Vegas. All right, how far are we looking from the Strip? Yeah, as I touched on already, about 20, 25 minutes. 20, 25 minutes is not bad at all from the home. So you can see a lot of it here. Actually, it's right behind this sign. When we take you over to that lake here in just a second, you'll be able to see it right behind us. So let's go ahead and check that out. One of the things that we do need to talk about that does impact your purchasing decision is going to be lot premiums. And this comes with most new communities. All right, it's rare that we would see a zero lot premium. All right, that's zero dollar lot premium, excuse me. Now, the reason I'm standing way over here inside of this dirt lot right here is because Serenata by Woodside Homes does actually offer dirt buildups. And what I mean by dirt buildups is you start with this, all right? You start just like this and you design everything. All right, you build it, you design everything. Uh, by Woodside Homes. Now, these do cost a little bit more. This is going to be a more expensive home and the lot premium here is going to be a little bit more expensive. 
upwards of $50,000, all right, or up to $50,000. That is what we were told by the sales rep, um, in which we do keep a tight, close relationship with. Now, there are two different options, all right? I'm talking to you about dirt buildups. Now, Pete, what are we looking at as far as lot premiums with move-in ready homes? So also, as opposed to having a build from dirt option, you can also have a move-in ready or a spec built where they've already picked out some of the main options like flooring, cabinets, counters, all of that sort of thing. And if you go for one of those homes, then your lot premium could actually end up being zero, could start at zero, or it's gonna range up to about 40 or 45,000. And some factors are gonna come into that, maybe the size of the lot, maybe it's on a corner, maybe it's in a nice part, a nicer part of the community, a more desirable part. All of those sort of come into it. But you know, when you think of some of the lot premiums, we've seen 100,000 for some lot premiums. So it's not that bad at all, if you ask me. Yeah, definitely not. And one of the other things that we do I always talk about is sits and lids. And if you haven't seen any of our other videos, just stick around for this if you have, all right, you've probably heard this spiel, but if you haven't, all right, and you have no idea like I didn't and I had to Google it, Sis and Liz is essentially you repaying the city for building everything, all right? Not the homes, but the infrastructure, all right? We're talking about the roads with the cars passing right on the other side of the camera lens here. We're talking about the sewage so that you can flush the toilet in your home and it can go where it needs to go, all right? You're essentially repaying the city for all of this. Okay, now what are we looking at for SIDS and LIDS here in uh, Canaan? Yeah, and a lot of the new homes and new construction communities, they tend to have um, those sort of fees. Summerlin is a very popular one and all the new construction there has SIDS and LIDS. Inspirad are very popular in, K in, uh, in Henderson, sorry, has a SID and LIDS fee. Sky Canyon up in the Northwest, all those homes have SIDS and LIDS. Cadence, also very popular. You get no SIDS and LIDS fees in the whole of Cadence, which I think is amazing. That is amazing. And just to give you context, and uh, this is something that you don't pay at closing. It's not a lump sum thing. It's something that you pay twice a year, um, which I pay twice a year. And as he was saying, zero dollars. All right, this is something that I inherited from the first owner of my new home, okay? So now I have a SIDS and LIDS payment twice a year that I have to make until it is paid off. So just to give you context like that, we still got tons more to show you and talk to you about HOAs. Let's hit it. One of those other important fees that may impact your decision is HOAs, all right? We see the negative comments coming in and we'd love to see more coming in. What are your thoughts on HOAs? Now here in Cadence, we're looking at one umbrella HOA. The community Serenata is not a gated community. What are we looking at with the HOA? So as you said, this community that we've been shooting today isn't part of a sub association, so there's no separate fee. Other parts of Cadence might have a separate sub association, but every home in Cadence is going to have a one master plan fee. And that's at the moment, that is $50 a month, which is not really that bad at all. When we touch on some of the things that that's going to include. Yeah, that's not bad at all. 50 bucks a month. I mean, come on. And what that covers is things like this. And that's why we wanted to get out here and show you these things. All right. So we got the volleyball courts in, right behind us. And then we got the big park right here right cover it bring your kids here all right these are the things that are covered and that's why it's so important that we wanted to show you is so that you know what you're getting all right these parks mean a lot there's parks everywhere in cadence all right and even the big 50 acre park which we're going to go ahead and take you to so if you're loving cadence and you're loving the homes that we showed you right and there's tons of homes to choose from over here we've got all those on our channel and more but you can reach out with that information right there on your screen however you're comfortable whenever you're ready again pete loves getting those texts from you guys all right we'd love to help right here in Cadence and anywhere in Las Vegas, guys. We've shot videos all over the valley, but we actually have more videos, more homes to show you of Cadence. If this is really what piqued your interest and what you're interested in, all right, we're gonna have those pop up for you on the screen so you can go ahead and click them right now.